Okay, let's try C. Oh my god. I actually like Muff Muncher. An anonymous cheer. Thanks for waiting for me to sit back down. I didn't want to miss that. Get Priest? I don't mind Druid. Hopefully we get offered some Druid cards. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Stegatron or Penflinger too much, but I think this can be good. Hmm. Room is okay. I actually don't hate Electra, right? Druid's got some expensive spells if we could pick them up. Previous song. Uh. Don't know. The last song on the last mix was this. It's called Solitary Nights. I think. We started a new mix. This was the last mix that was playing, so I think you wanted the last song on Solid. Solidary Knights. Let's take the Electra, right? I like this card. I want to get an expensive card offered to me. Amalgam's pretty good deal. Five's okay. We have one Druid card. It's a good card too. I, I don't like this one much. I have about three Mage Scribes. I might like it. Portolan Forager, however, one of my favorite cards. Let's see, these are all bad. We have the Amalgam already. Actually, we have the Muff Muncher too. M Muff Muncher? Probably all right. Moat Lurker's not very good anyway. I actually think I like Sea Giant. Starfire's not bad. Not great. Sometimes it's nice to have one. But uh, this is a really good card. Get this out for like six, seven mana. It's still a good deal. Uh, Runic's not terrible. Golem's not terrible. Let's take the Runic. It works with our Electra, right? And it, you know, there's Treant synergy somewhere. Plus one less for each friendly Treant that died. Oh, there's one. One way in which it matters. We'll take the Proto. I do care about our curve, but not over a Proto. Whoa, Primordial Drake. That guy's good. Forager for Elise. I hope so. Seven mana eight eight with no death rattle. Well, this is an eight mana eight eight with a death rattle. Fine, we'll just get it for six mana then. I do like a bog beam. This doesn't definitely doesn't have the start of a deck that wants a savage roar. Or so I don't like this card in general. But oh hey wait where am I? I'm not here. Hello. Uh, these are turds. This is kind of a turd, but I think less of a turd. You do have the war gear, so a little, you know, a little bit of value there. Not, not what you're really hoping to get offered. Hog merchant's fine. These are kind of whatever. Uh, these are terrible. This card can be okay, although I don't particularly like it, especially in a deck that has like no spells. So have to get some. It's a good two. Rager's fine. I, I like them both a lot more than Initiate, but I think Power's cool. We have some things that work with Power, right? We have uh, this guy. That's about it, but that's alright. I like Dwarf. I don't hate Mark, but I do hate Spring Rocket. Let's take the Dwarf. Wild Fiend is so good. I love Arborist. I just never get to take it. It seems like it's always up against something. We need a three. I would love it in the deck. I just think Vile Fiend's too good. And after getting dunked with that, oh. Uh, Mana Feeder's the right pick here, but I'm going to go um, bright eyed. I say never turn down a beautiful red headed gal with pigtails. After getting dunked with that Paladin deck against all those priests, I'd like to get some Vile Fiends and maybe get some wins, maybe. Then again, we did just take bright eyed scout, but whatever. Minor details. Arbor up. This loot hoarders are reasonable too. Oh, it's the last deck of the night. Let's take Tortolan Primalist. Let's build a Tortolan deck. You'll love to see it. Redheads for the win. I'm inclined to agree. Double Proto. Uh, I'll nab another Power of the Wild. Pretty nice. Uh, Fire Plume's not bad. How many twos have we ended up with? One, two, four, five, six, sort of. And how many fours? 
one ish to or, mm, let's take the fire plume they're both kind of reasonable i think the reason to take the delinquent is we don't have enough threes like, like a two into a two on three fire plume school I actually really like germination. I know people don't like germination, but I do. Protos, it's pretty good on Rusty even. Uh, who knows what else? The other cards kind of suck, so who cares? Ah, for the love of God, tell me. I know we don't have enough spells. What a fucking tragedy. What a tragedy. Let me at least pretend. Let's see. One, two, three. Four. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I mean, they all suck. Oh man, that hurts. I do. I love y'all, but I can't. I've only got four. <laughs> I only got four spells. That Kael'th loss is terrible. So seven mana for a four seven or five mana for a four four. I guess it's five mana for a four four. Shouldn't be offered subject nine in class with no secrets. Yeah. Probably not. Sadly, I think it is. I like Flyer, I think, a little more than Shadow Weaver, but I think we need a three more. Feels bad. It it should it would be a cooler card for sure. And maybe if they made it today. If it they I wish they would make cards like this. A five mana four four or whatever. Do subject nine stuff. If you draw no secrets, like cast a random secret or or cast two random secrets or something i don't think that would be so good that it would be like an auto include index even back then see i love yog first pick i would have taken that yog and if we didn't end up with enough spells i wouldn't have cared that much i mean i'd be disappointed but the draft would be fun because you could kind of like start looking for nature studies or whatever not even useful for corruption. Yeah. Maybe we should have taken like the Yogg, because if we bright eyed scout into it, maybe uh, it would be a 5 mana 7 5. Flash, should I take out a Druid, Shaman, or Demon Hunter? Shaman, if you're trying to win. Shaman is pretty decent. Didn't I draft a crap load of uh, twos? Maybe not a crap load. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six feels like we should get one. New Rogue Legendary. Can you link it? I'll take a look at it. If not, well, but... How bad were the other legendaries you drafted? Secret Beast. Wait, that was two seconds ago. Did you just get here? Uh, we had Yogg Saron with four spells in our deck and Kael'thalos with four spells in our deck, which is just a seven mana, four, seven. So we spend three more mana to get three more health. Doesn't seem worth it to me. Oh, and great. I have the two damn proto drakes. God damn it. Darn. Tapped out working. Oh, okay. I wasn't trying to be rude. But it, they were bad. <laughs> Vectus, Gorefiend, and the Beast. Well, Vectus and Gorefiend are fine. Those are good cards. I'd say Vectus is pretty consistently a good card, and Gorfin, Ter Teron, yeah, Gorfin's just fine. Sometimes you'll get some upside from it, but What do I do? Oh, it just costs two mana. That would be better. The song's kind of cool. I better take another sip of whiskey. What the fuck? The hell is going on? Why would he discover the bomb? What 
terrible. I guess playing a 4 mana 5-5 five five is better than playing a 4 mana 2-5. Going for a triple? What the f***? Hard. Swinging my face? Okay, this guy does. Well, I mean, we know he doesn't know what's going on in his life or in this game because he used to carry on studies and discovered a goblin bomb. That, one of his first mistakes. Can we bet again? Oh yeah, my bad. Let's set, pay out the bets. Will we win seven? Ooh, nope. Okay, let's bet on seven for this one, though. This one's gonna be seven. Most of the runs today, well, half the runs went seven plus. Will we win seven? This is the bomb master. Okay, let's see. We know this guy for sure is a big fan of explosive trap, so let's uh attack like this. Play the part on. You know, beetle berries are my favorite. I did know that, yeah. Commitment to Smork. Well, he's just not even really just kind of committing to. I mean, maybe he's got a right, primordial Drake or something. I don't know. Even if you win with this, you definitely didn't play it right. <laughs> In my estimation. Did you take uh, Mana Feeder over Frozen Shadow Weaver? Depends on the curve and the class. What class did you end up picking? Shaman? I think in Shaman, two drops are more important than in other classes in a lot of ways. Because um, you don't want a hero power on two. I like them both, and I could justify them both. I'd say like first pick, I'd probably just take the Mana Feeder. But if I had enough twos, I'd have no problem picking up a Shadow Weaver there. Like, sometimes cards are kind of close like that, and you just want to take the one that fits your curve the best. If it's like a Mana Feeder up against a Proto Drake, and I'd have to have like zero twos to pass a Proto Drake for a Mana Feeder. They're not really as close as Mana Feeder and Shadow Weaver. What am I watching here? The new Rogue Legendary is so boring. I'm getting very scared. Add a random poison to your hand? Oh, that's cool. I mean... Add a random poison. Wait, what's a random poison? Eh. Yeah, I mean... It's cooler than a lot of the other crap they've shown. First proto? I would take the second proto over mana feeder. Pretty, pretty easily, I think. I think protos just win the game. Whereas Mana Feeder is a good card, but I, I mean, if you're playing River Crocs, if you have five River Crocs in your deck and three Protos, I think you're just going to win a lot every time you get a Proto down. And if you can just go like River Croc on two, it's about the same. You mean Deadly Poison? It adds Deadly Poison to your hand? I'm confused. Or they're like toxin guards, like that old bug legendary. 
Hmm. It's not very good while that's up. I don't want too many big drops. Yeah, yeah. But like, first two picks, Proto versus Mana Feeder into Proto versus Mana Feeder. I'm happy to take two Protos for sure. And then I'll find a two somewhere else. Hopefully. And if not, well, I've got two Protos and I just drop some um, Holy Novas or some Scorpions or whatever. Whatever the el uh, whatever else I can get my hands on, hopefully. And I don't mind. Eh, let's just do this. If he's double trading, that's cool. I don't I don't really care that much. But yeah, you do want to be conscientious of the curve for sure. But early in the draft, I'd be less less inclined to care. Hmm, I could zap it. Ping it. Drop the two, trade. I think that's okay. We're going second, and uh, this guy is curving out very well. So we're just kind of in take less damage mode. Or play semi on curve. I don't know. Uh, depending on what that is. I do like that, but this seems pretty reasonable. Bloodlust over Hex? No, never. I don't even like Bloodlust at all, but Hex is pretty much the most important thing you can draft. It's definitely up there. Oh my god, this is going to be one of those times where you get stuck with a subject and then you draw it all the time too, right? Uh, let's see what I get. It's a good card. Let's see what we get. That's a good card. Sounds are gone. Was chat punished for overusing? Yeah, we did. We got rid of them. I'll try to remember to add them back. Maybe tomorrow. John's... I couldn't read chat. Was mostly the only issue. There's so many from John that I couldn't read chat. So. I don't mind the sounds because I could just lower the volume. But, uh... If I can't read chat, then it's kind of detrimental. Man, this is a good muff muncher. It's also a good proto. We can we can muff munch later, you know. Not the chat was saying anything of note. Oh, I can tell chat. Well, oh, you mean when I because I couldn't read it. I mean maybe. Somebody said like, hey Red, if you guess, you know, a number between one and ten, I'm gonna gift the sub or some crap like that. You know what they do. The real issue, one of the main issues here is we are just again in that position where we just kind of auto lose to uh auto lose to mind control, but there's not really anything we can do about it, so we prepare ourselves for the possibility of mind control. Don't worry, I'm awake and we can party. Hey, let's party. Oh my god, that's a way to party. That's a that's a human party right there. He actually doesn't have enough power to kill the fourteen fourteen. Oh, now he does. Oh my god. Wait, he had enough to kill it without that, didn't he? I think. Six yeah, no, why, he didn't have to. Why did he pain that? Am I missing something? Why did he copy the one that's not got Divine Shield? Oh, I think I know. Because he done goofed. 
Surrender your M&Ms. Did it just because he could. Dude, that's flexing right there. Now I'm nervous. He must be a really high level player to throw away. <laughs> to throw away his pain and to not copy the Divine Shield one. Good lord. Now I feel nervous. Drunk. I'm hoping to get there soon. But thank you so much, Trash Queen, for the 500 fucking bits. Fucking wonderful. I guess I'd rather this one take a little less and that one take a little more. That's no power this does. It's the kind of play I would make. That was a rough one. I don't, I don't understand. I guess he thought he had paint it to kill it. I don't get the divine shield part though. Why not? I mean, you just cast whatever. I got to sneeze. Ne it never comes out when I say that, though. Sneezing on stream is hard. I don't think I want to know what the other legendary choices were. Everybody's very concerned with the Subject 9 pick. It was Yogg-Saron with our like 28th pick and we only had 4 spells so he could never activate Yogg. Or it was Kael'thas, cost 2 more mana and only has 3 more health. And that doesn't seem good. It's rough. I know, I was telling Chad, if it came out first, I would take the Yogg and build my deck around Yogg. And it'd be kind of cool. I love, you mean, you know me, Swagamus. I love, I love me a Yogg deck. Oh, hey, Trash Queen, just a heads up. I want to let you know something. I haven't not bought Pokemon cards. I just haven't bought Pokemon cards. I know I'm on the hook for more Pokemon cards. But I've been like looking, I don't know how to buy really, I was trying to buy some from the store. But I'm, I'm gonna buy Pokemon cards to open. I remember there was a donation explicitly for Pokemon cards. It inspired me to pick Yogg all the time, but sometimes I don't count my spells, so it's just 7 by. See, my thing is, I don't want to order them online. Because then I have to wait a week to get them. But if I had ordered them a week ago, then they'd be here. But also, I don't want to order them online and have somebody like, you know, weigh them and it's one, you know, tetragram heavier so they take it and they give me the crappy ones. Got any more of them GXs? I opened my Machamp. I haven't been buying any singles, so I kind of want to buy it kind of stresses me out. There's too many things to buy and then I buy nothing. But I need to buy Rudhan. What I need to buy is a second binder to put all my GXs and my EXs and my Vs in and my all that. And then I have my one where I can put just the ones I collect. Right now I'm running out of space. Not I have a lot of space, but my planning, I'll feel like I'm going to have to take everything out and put them back in. Also, I have, I have toxic... Toxic taco farts. What are a box? Um, I looked at that. They're like they're so expensive, or they're like two hundred bucks, and then they're gonna just give me crap too, right? That's what they do. Never fucking. Okay. Got three legendary picks. Poggers, what do you take out of these? Medivh, Alakir, or Ysera? Uh, probably... Well, depends on your deck. I know I say that a lot. I think Medivh, if Medivh is good in your deck, I think Medivh is the best of those. I think Ysera is probably the second best, and I think Alakir is probably the third best. Although Alakir is a good card. Those are good, like, all three are good legendaries.
I wasn't expecting to be going this hard. I used to collect a bunch of cards when I was a kid, and I went through a phase a few years ago of collecting hockey cards. And then also Cosmic gifted like a million dollars, and I was like, ooh, you know what? I got a little bit of extra money for the first time in like the last five years, and I don't buy anything, and I'm paying like a third of the rent that I was paying at my old place now that I have roommates. I was like, I have all the... Not all this money, but I was like, oh, I have expendable cash for the first time. I'm not dating anybody, and I... You know what? Maybe I'll buy some Pokemon. You buy it in stores cheaper, the boxes. Well, no stores have Pokemon cards in the world, apparently. Apparently, that's not what they're doing. Hello, what up, Safa? Apparently, you can't buy them in the store anymore. Uh, garbage. Here is to filth. It's two mana? That'd be sick. Also, I should have pre-hit it, but then I buffed it and I didn't want to pre-hit it anymore. Are those Pokemon cards worth something? You're just collecting them for fun. They are worth something. Um, but I'm mostly just collecting them for fun. If you buy the packs, you'll lose money how it works in the short term if you open something nice and 10 years from now you got you know whatever you're probably going to be worth more money if you buy something from 10 years ago you're probably going to spend less than you would on packs even if you you know if you had bought them 10 years ago now the packs for stuff for 10 years ago are like hundred dollars for one pack or whatever but i just like buying like ten dollar hologram or whatever it's cool like it. Why did he get poison? Why did I not get? Man, I just need more mana. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna dupe him. I'm gonna set him up. I'm gonna give him the old uh, something or other. I'm going to assume he takes the free trade, and then I'm going to play the Wretched and the Taunt, and then I'll kill at least those two. Oh, never mind. I'm just dead. Okay, there goes that plan. Almost good. Not good. always lose money when you buy packs just most of the time well yeah but if you buy packs 10 times you're gonna lose money if you buy one pack and open like a ten thousand dollar card yeah you'll make money but most people don't but yeah In the short term, you can buy one pack and spend five dollars and then get a ten dollar card and you know you haven't lost money. But if you buy ten packs, you're probably you know, probably not gonna open fifty dollars worth of cards. You're probably gonna get that one ten dollar card and a bunch of twenty cent cards, whatever, which is fine, because opening the packs is part of the fun, right? Enough is enough. Is FIFA scam in real life? I mean, it, again, you're when you're opening packs, in my opinion, if you treat it as though you're just, you know, having fun while opening them, then kind of is what it is. Fun is nice, you know. I guess we're not technically dead. We're only dying. Yeah, I, mean, I could do this. I could do this. Right? Does that do anything? Maybe I'm just dead, actually. 5, 8, 12, 13, 14. I mean, it's fine. We don't really have a shot this game. I think we could have lived if we played this. But... Like doing scratch-off tickets. Yeah, and that's the sort of the same concept, right? 
if you buy one ticket, you might win the lottery, but if you buy tickets every day for your life, most of them are gonna lose and But uh, even like pre-pandemic, post-pandemic, most of the time, again, if you're buying collectible cards, Pokemon or basketball or hockey or whatever, and, you know, you're buying the packs, in the long run, you're just going to lose money, even if you open good stuff, for the most part. If you're buying singles and strategically buying things cheaper and getting them graded and then they appreciate in value and then selling them like you know that's that's kind of different yes is this deck any good yeah it's a fine deck not if you don't get any plays like the first turn first four turns of the game it's gonna be a little rougher Most people collect stuff because they enjoy it, not to make money from it, right? Yeah, I think a lot of people do. I think so. I used to buy magic cards with all my pocket money. I grew up, got a job, and now I can't afford them. Yeah. Yeah. Just gotta keep making more money so you can buy more stupid shit. <laughs> uh, where's my board? Why is my board gone? No one should be going into Pokemon card collecting to get rich. You should do it because they like Pokemon cards. Yeah. You can, again, you can make money doing stuff like that, but I think if that's your intention, you probably won't be successful and you probably won't, you know, enjoy it. So whatever. Then if you're going to do that, you might as well just buy whatever GME stock or something else. It's like a constructed deck. Our hand feels like a pile of dog poo. Why subject nine in this deck? Hey Frisco, I haven't seen Frisco Steve in a while. Because I didn't want a seven mana for seven, so I took a five mana for. Got into Pokemon cards to impress the ladies. Hey, some some gals like that stuff. Certainly. Wait, howdy. I sure hope we live long enough to uh, ask some of our cards. We got some good ones. Share. Spell power. I want to see my Squirtle. Line has yet to be successful. You're going after the wrong gals then. Anybody that ain't going to appreciate your Squirtle. Rush, Tress, Birdie, Troublemaker seems like a decent curve. Oh yeah, it's definitely a decent curve. If we're dead before that happens, then it's, you know, a little less impactful, certainly. Read with what Red said. Well, there's a first. Also, God help us both. We're looking for more of a Blastoise, if you know what I mean. Oh, I don't. Are you talking about a big penis? Because if you are, then yes, I understand. Come with me, baby, and I can make you Squirtle. How about I just bought a Reverse Hollow Aquapolis Squirtle? Do you want to come take a look at it? It's really nice art. What about that line? Could uh, could that be a good one? What the hell did I walk into? Hey, Ellie, how are you? We missed you. Some of us more than others.
good. Oh, that's great news. Me too, I'm doing all right. Can't complain too much. Hopefully we, uh, kill his guys here. Hmm. All right. Let's try that. Hopefully no silence. Hopefully no more rush. Subject nine, dude, we've drawn this every game. It's not good. Do this, do that, but I'm not really playing. I guess I'm just gonna play it. Uh, I guess I get a hero power in this way. Not that I'm going to swing into anything, but 8 health is definitely more than 7. Can't wait for the cane lethal. Is that the one that ignores taunt? That would stink. That'd be kind of funny though, right? Could inadvertently kill, inadvertently kill you. Yeah, it could. Why is subject 9 in our deck? Because I didn't want a 7 mana 4-7, so I took a 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. Those are my choices, which, when you think about it, not great. Not ideal. We got how much here? 4, 8, 10, 12. So let's bonk a little. Bonk a little. And bonk a little. And then win the game, maybe? Is the course that going to be playable? Is it tomorrow? I actually don't know. I wish I did know. That would be cool. I wish I did know. I have no idea. March 25th. Is that true? I heard the 23rd, which is Tuesday, which is tomorrow for European guys and gals. I think. But I don't know if that's true. If I'm going to take a day off, I should probably take tonight off. It's end of March. So the new set comes out the 30th. But the four set, I've heard from multiple people, was the 23rd, a week before the thing. I, I love how it's like, it's like a week away. And we still, don't, I mean, like, I can't just go to play Hearthstone's website and it says core set on the 30th or whatever. Like, I don't know. I feel like they really fucked up this whole hype and lead in and I don't know. People don't even know when the shit's coming out. If I go to play Hearthstone, why, why can't it? Why, why do I have to like look? Prepare for a mega bundle. Okay, I can buy a mega bundle. I get that. There's, can you go to news? No. They don't even know, maybe, I mean. I mean, there's so much fucking shit. None of it seems to say anything, whatever. I have so many twos in this stack, but every every game we're skipping turn two. Last opponent mouse over subject nine after it was dropped and was probably like, what the fuck? Yeah. I did notice that. He's trying to torment him. Hey, there's our two. We go room for potential issues? Why would they do that? I mean, it's Blizzard. We know they're going to have issues whatever day they release it, right? I've never, <laughs> I've never done that before. Uh, I freeze him, but man, I like playing on curve. Pretty good card. Whatever they do, whatever Blizzard does, you know it's gonna be fucked up on day one. So, at least just tell me what day it's coming out and what day it's gonna be. 
fucked up on. I'll just account for it, you know? Oh my days. Zero mana, eight, eight. And I get to get a four mana, eight, eight as well. Sweet deal, actually. Yeah, let's just let him deal with that. Oh, germination. Yeah. That's good. Take a picture, I'll send it to Judge. I'll send it to Judge and Veritas, see what they say. Get a zero mana eight eight. Uh I played this, so it made a ten mana sea giant cost five. And then the five mana sea giant cost one less for each minion on the battlefield. And there were five minions, so it cost zero. Then I germinated my zero mana sea giant. Apparently, when you when you look at it through that objective lens is a in play. Listening to that. Nice play. Hey, thanks. I mean, you get a little lucky with the bright eyed scout, but that's why I drafted it so we could get lucky and do some fun things once in a while. I really dig. Well randomed. I mean, you do pay a price, right, to have the opportunity to hit that. Some percentage of the time, you're going to lose the game because you played a 4 mana 3 4 instead of something better. But other times, it's going to pay off reasonably well. Love it when uh, you can't find the information you're looking for in games websites. As if the website is there to promote another game. I I don't get uh, I don't get the play Hearthstone website. You know I complain about Hearthstone a lot. Try not to do that too much, but it's like I don't know, man. It just feels like it's so poorly run sometimes. That website, why? Like again, why is this stuff not in the client? Like um. Great Shadow Legends. It's, you know, like these turd mobile games. And I like Great Shadow Legends. It's a great game. Can't wait for the next sponsor deal. But like, uh... Like, that stuff's all in client. You see leaderboards for events in the goddamn client. Like, Hearthstone can't put that in. They just can't put, like, hey, new set. Like, put up a stupid little graphic on the main page. Like, hey, new set coming out this day. Core set this day. Gotta be fucking difficult all the time. Should I bump it? Nah, fuck it, whatever. It's a nice turret. You don't have to wipe, though. I mean, like, it's just every game can implement that. These mobile games from 10 years ago can fucking seem to manage it. But Hearthstone seems to struggle. Magnetic lethal? You guys didn't want to kill it with this? Wow, dude. Okay, maybe I should have done that in retrospect. Alright, well now I can't play it or he's gonna know I missed. I can't allow him to think he's better than me. Sorry, I was ranting. It's fine. If I lose this game, I'll gift one <laughs> sub to Gunny. If I lose this game, I'll eat my shoe live on stream. Pull out my finest moccasin, I'll cut it up into pieces, I'll chew up the leather, I'll swallow, I'll digest it. Yum. Hey man, I'm a coated in barbecue sauce. Ba 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 ba. Sounds hot. I'm not gonna coat my body in barbecue sauce, although if you're into that, maybe. <laughs> All right. Get a raid content creator to subscribe on Facebook. Everyone will get is something they often do. Raid is supporting their content creators. Oh, well, Hearthstone actually does a pretty good job, in my opinion, of supporting a lot of their content creators. Just not me so much, which is fine. I, I wish they would support, you know, save file and 
judge and um you know i don't know if they ever hit half a bear up but maybe like half a bear and stuff there are leather vans there are leather vans my buddy dan buys he bought this 500 hundred dollar pair of italian leather vans limited edition giorgio fartanis i don't know what they were but he buys uh he, he has a pair of leather other Italian vans. Some collaboration with the designers. Here's our revealing cards today. Can you show us a Pokemon card? Great ball. That's all I got. They gave me crap in my pack, it wasn't right. Giorgio part on me. <laughs> I fucked up, that's what I should have said. I'm in that picture and I don't like it. Hey, Clack, how are you, dude? So good to see you here, my friend. Office said a while back the reason she phased out was because of lack of support from Liz. I, uh, I do not doubt that. Do not doubt that in the slightest. And, you know, part of it is Blizzard doesn't, doesn't need to give Hafu free stuff or pay Hafu money or a Crip or Red Redbeard to, to be, you know, one of the most popular games on Twitch. It's been very popular for a very long time. So, you know, they don't need to do that stuff. And, you know, if you don't need to, then why would you? If you're still gonna sell stuff, if people are still gonna stream it regardless. Let me take a picture. I sent a link to my great ball. Are you talking about your testicles again? Because uh, I'll pass. Thank you, though. Off we stopped streaming Blizzard games after the incident? Did... Was Hafu stream? What was she streaming before? Wasn't she doing TFT before Among Us? I don't think she had, was playing much. Uh, may maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember her being on most Earth, Earth junk. And just hero power this down. I'm gonna put up the taunt. I feel like it kind of blocks his hero power the same way this does. It also stops a rush minion from killing this. Uh, oftentimes Hearthstone feels rigged when it comes to draws. I don't think so. It's probably just, it feels bad when you lose and your opponent draws well. You probably don't remember the times you draw well and you just move on to the next game, right? In my opinion. It balances out. Sometimes you fuck and sometimes you get fucked. It's kind of like life in that way. What was the incident? Amaz got um, invited to a Battlegrounds tournament. Not at the beginning of Battlegrounds' kind of existence, but like six or eight months ago. And then there was some drama. There was some kind of like implication that somebody at an event that he was putting on made like a young lady feel uncomfortable and and he was like uh he, he i believe now just don't take my word exactly but this is what i believe happened um and and he was kind of like he was like in charge it was like his team or his event or something so they rescinded his invitation and then he said he wouldn't play blizzard games anymore on stream but i didn't know that i know he and hopu are friends 
I didn't know anything about potentially him not her not playing a game, but I, I, maybe she kind of like to support him. Maybe chose not to play Blizzard games as well. No, it's all right. I I just I mean I'm usually not up on the stream drama, so I I just don't want to misspeak because I don't have all. I don't really know. I just somebody told me that, or I read it on Twitter or some. Got tired of Hearthstone, I think. That's why she started auto chess. Yeah, she was already off of uh she was already off of Hearthstone well before that at Moz thing. Now maybe she publicly said she doesn't intend to play any more Blizzard games in the future, maybe. I don't know. That's possible. I do know if, you know, if Big Daddy Dexter ever got, you know, he he said he wasn't playing Hearthstone Arena ever again, I would definitely tell him. I wasn't either, but I would keep doing it. And then if he came here and said, "What are you doing?" I would, I would do, I'd be like, "Oh, I thought this was some. I thought this was Barbie's dream house. I, I don't know. Do you want me to? Do you want me to stop? I, eh, I pretend like I didn't know what was going on, but I would just still play it. But I would want to support him because he's my friend. We'll take it with a reasonable amount of doubt. Yeah, smart. I thought she was burnt out on them. Again, she was, she was, I believe, playing auto chess or, or uh, TFT well before this Amaz Battlegrounds thing. She was already kind of out of arena now. I don't, I, I don't know why. People get bored of arena or they're not supporting streamers. Blizzard definitely doesn't seem to be going out of their way to do more for content creators than they have to then they feel socially obligated to when they get called out for it on Twitter. What are you doing, Mr. Redbeard? Ah, oh, what are you doing, Mr. Redbeard? Opens a porn tab? Oh, okay. Opens a porn tab. I do like pornography. He knows that. Ooh. I, you know, I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of swearing off pornography, just for the record. Come on, Blizzard, you're embarrassing yourself here. We got 686 viewers still. Sick. Oh, and if anybody wants to follow, it's been a little while since anybody followed, and I'm getting a little drunk. That so would be a good time for some new followers, I think. Two? What, one? One new follower? We had 26 today. Yesterday, we got... 61 followers. Crazy. It's pretty nutty. Hi, Red. Hey, Aliri Zamir Fart. Good to see you. You pull some up on your phone when you two shared a hotel room? Some pornography? No. No. I think I could ditch that now that we hit these two. Got to hit a real three drop potentially. That'd be nice. We get a surprise when we follow. No. Jack Golf. Wow. Jack Golf. The Jack Golf. Hey Jack Golf. Thanks for the sub. Are you excited for the Masters? When is that? Two weeks. Chat, please. Everybody, remind me when the Masters is so I can watch it after the stream. I'm ex I, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. My favorite. Oh man, that's not so good. Okay, do you think the core set uh, will have much of an impact on the arena meta? I think they'll have a humongous impact on the arena meta. It's going to be a ton of new cards and a ton of cards that you've seen that are going to be more relevant and more draftable. If I ping there and buff, I can't quite get to that. So what I think I, I do is freeze here. 
And um, next turn, we can kind of do the same thing. We can ping, buff. We'll see what we draw. Sprint costs six. It's kind of decent at six. Yeah. I draft Sprint still sometimes. It's not always, you know, the best thing for me. I think Sprint is a draftable card at four today. Not a card you're excited to have most of the time. But for six mana, it, you know, play it and drop a four or five taunt on the same turn. That's pretty, pretty decent. Do I double trade here? I guess I do. Huh? Just need to make it to these, uh, to these protos if we can. We really only need a play for this turn. Five, a six, a three. Even now you can bump hero power. Oh, there's a five. Hey, wait a minute. I could have been magnetizing this the whole time. Gotten pro drake in almost every game before turn two. Yeah, it's really hilarious. I keep getting fucked. 100% draw rate on Proto, yeah. That's actually usually pretty good, except for the fact that in this instance, it's very not good. Stupid sexy secrets, they're, they're not that sexy. I mean, if I had five of them, sure. Since they're removing shit cards from standard, aren't decks going to be stronger and harder to go infinite? Um, no. It's going to be the same in that you're going to have stronger cards and your opponents are going to have stronger cards, but it's all relative, right? doesn't matter how strong your opponent's cards are. It only matters how strong they are relative to your cards and, and your play level. And that, I mean, it's not like people are going to get much better all of a sudden. I said it's rigged. I'm with you. I'm with you now. But I mean, like a 3 mana 3-3 three, three raid leader isn't going to break the game or anything. Whereas something like a grand finale, you can't beat, you can beat a 3 mana 3-3 three, three raid leader that gives your minions plus one attack or whatever gonna be able to beat that still make free trades and draft a responsible curve over the long haul you're gonna win a fair amount now if silas was in the core set and it was replacing you know and silas was replacing you know river croc and your opponent got 10 percent more siluses than you then and then you might have a problem I mean, we lost to the Silas, but once he uh, mind controls my other proto, I can tap out. Only just came on. What were the picks that forced you into Subject 9? Or was it for the memes? Yeah, I was trying to get a couple of Druid secrets going for the memes. Um, it was up against uh, Yogg-Saron with four spells in our deck, or three, or some five, however many we ended up with, with like two picks left. So couldn't, we couldn't take Yogg, or we could take a Kael'thas, which is a 7 mana, 4-7. So I opted to choose the um, 5 mana, 4-4, four, four, instead of the 7 mana, 4-7. Four, seven. Sure. Normally I don't like tempoing Og Merchants on 1. But against Shaman, I'm more inclined because I just like being able to kill the totems. Why draft Proto when you can draft Silas and Mind Control? I'm telling you, my last three or four priests, no Mind Controls in any of them. 
Maybe one of them had one. I could freeze it. Excuse me. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Oh, I swear I was going to coin it. Let's freeze the 2-1. Uh, if he's bumping here and has a scorpion, he has to lose the 2-2 two -two instead of the 2-1. Crazy red memes. I am too sober to realize. No, I'm with you. Unfortunately, they weren't available to us. Bump hero power. Right there. Hmm. That's a full clear. I, I don't like not using the mana for anything, but removing his board is good, I think. Regular old mind control stayed in. Uh, I think mind control's out in, um, I think mind control's out in like a week or so at least. Whether that be the 23rd or... But um, the, the rotation hasn't happened yet, so mind control's still in, but I believe it will be gone. I don't think it's in the core set. Also, welcome back, Shadow One. Good to see ya. Okay. Give me... Oh, I swear, I was gonna play it, and now I'm gonna get the fucking turns I was gonna play it. Hey, it's pretty good. Anytime it comes up green, you're pretty happy, right? Oh, that's sick. If you guys don't remember this guy, oops. 9 mana, 9, 7. Destroy all damaged minions. Sick card. I don't think I have him in gold on NA, but I want him in gold. Pretty cool. I shoot it down to five, trade, trade, trade. If I, I, I don't have to overload. I just, if I don't overload, I leave that up, but I can go proto into King Mosh, right? I'm in four. If I trade one, I can still get this bad boy. Oh my God, he costs one. That's fine. I needed the board space. And again, if we give him rush, we can kill that, but then I can't play my proto into... Well, I can't play my proto. And then, honestly, if I have all this shit on board and he has nothing, then I don't really want Mosh, necessarily. We put down, what, 16, 16 worth of power in one turn? That's pretty good. Side note, I kind of like this song. It's neato. Sounded like uh, Warden something or other. What is that card? Waste Warden? That was really nice for him. Ooh, and the taunt. Really bad for us. Trying to bait out the next Silas before the proto. Yeah, yeah. I like this song. It's pretty cool. I think uh, that um, X was pretty good for him. I could uh, germinate. I think I'm just going to play this. Got some good answers. Sometimes they have everything. Seems like one of those games. So far. So far. A 
Come on, let us get one more. Come on, just one more. Art Queen! Oh my god. I might need another whiskey. It's probably not. I mean, you know. New card revealed by Tice. Alright, link it, link it to me. Oh, that's too bad. Well, he doesn't really remove... Okay, never mind. Queenie Raid. Wombly. What up, Womble? What up, Womble Ruski? Give me a lease. Come on. Be good, actually. How did the stream go? What was Queen the the Queen playing? Hello, hey Guard Queen. Gosh. You know, you've raided this kind hearted lady once or twice and then boom! She raids you back. Life is again worth living. At least it seems that way. Do I have any demons in the deck? Let me take a quick peek. Uh demons, demons, demons. No demons. No oh, demons in my druid deck? You gotta be kidding me! Alright, I think I do this. I, think I do that. I think I do that. And then we look at the board. What does the board look like now? It's always going face. I can always get chopped. I can bonk one of these bozos. Bonk a bozo. Hit him. Alright, I like it. You guys take hysteria over death. Probably. I hate hysteria. I like death. It was nice. Yes, I played Arena. How did the runs go? Tell me. And please, don't make me cry on stream. Tell me they all went 12 wins. Even if they didn't. I think it's best if you lie to me. Or, that's what happened. That would be good too. Win-win. Co-opt with Crip. They all went 12. Oh, fuck. Incredible. That's a really cool deck. What was in it? I'll be right back. I got... Wait, hold on a minute. Please, everybody settle down with the follows until I come back. Jack Golf, thanks for the sub. Trash Queen, thanks for the bits. Um, I'm going to just pour like a half whiskey and a cola. We're going to get seven wins. We're going to pay out the yes boys in their farts. Hopefully Heart Queen and Wumbly will still be here when I get back. <laughs> thanks, Trash Queen. Wumbly, he's a good guy. What Dexter says about him behind his back? Got offered Nazoth. Oh my god, imagine that. <laughs> Nazoth. In this day and age. I don't even believe it. Check out the new top arena card for Warlock. One mana discard three top cards of each deck. What the fuck? Does it summon a minion? Do I see subject nine in a druid deck? What are the choices? I, I, I just want to say Plex. I'm going to answer that question. I've never been asked about a singular card in my deck more than this run. Why Subject 9 is in my deck. <laughs> this is the 19th time in the last 20 minutes that somebody's asked me about it. And I will answer it. I was offered Yogg Saron with like the 28th pick, and I only had 4 spells in my deck. And I was offered Kale the Loss with the same no amount of spells. And.
rid of my two drops. And, and and he's a five he's a seven mana four seven, so I took the five mana four four. Bummer. Yeah, no, it's okay. Um Why'd you put subject nine <laughs> in your deck? I'm an idiot. Uh the new Florin, what up, Flo? Um, what was I gonna say? We were talking to um Oh no, didn't I draft I drafted six twos. Just give me one. Called subject nine because it subjects you to nine questions every game, apparently so. No, that's the one I drafted. Gosh darn it. I wanted Yogg. Oh, I wanted Yogg. I wanted to emulate my hero, my Hearth Arena hero. Hurt Queen. Oh, great. You know what would have been great if I got that? And then I could just bonk that. And then he'd bonk this, and then I'd shoot that, and there'd be nothing on the board but my minion. It doesn't always work out that way. You got a bright wing? I gave you Benedictus? That's why you <laughs> Subject 9. No Benedictus in the meta. I like the way you think, though. What set is Benedictus? Is he- he must be knights. Anything that's not in that I can't remember is probably knights, right? Of the Frozen Throne. The deck to prove he can win with any crap in his deck. Just trying to activate my Yogg. Who's trying to do what with my Yogg? Change the title of the stream to an explanation why you picked Subject 9. No, I never changed the title of the stream. I just don't do that. It's not something that I do. I'm trying to activate my Yogg. How? With subject 9? What are we talking about? What the hell are you talking about? I never changed the title. What would I change it to? Arena guy doesn't play Arena today? Well, that would be a lie. I never lied to chat. I don't know, man. Me neither. I'm lost. I'm spun out. I'm spinning out of control. If I wasn't playing Arena today, I might change it. You only activate Yogg with the song. I love that song. You like that one or nah? You think it's lame? Alright, if I don't draw Wrath this turn, I fucking retire. Done. I might be dead, huh? That needs five. Hot drunk redhead streaming. Ooh. That could appeal to a whole new audience. Activating Yogg is a state of mind. I don't think anybody has activated more Yogs in Arena than I have. If they have, I am proud of them. I respect it. This game didn't feel like a. A little anticlimactic. I went to grab my uh, whiskey and my cola and I got dunked. Got dunked in the rear end. Well, if I'm not dead, I could get a, a haunted sea giant, maybe. Also, uh, Zorolan Primalist and try to get the healing spell on our own face, although that seems unlikely. Did anybody even bet? Are we even betting on this game? We did. He quadruple trades. Oh my god, he's trading. Why is he trading now? He could have put me to two. I'm so confused. He just went face, 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 face. 
And put us to two traded? Snipe? Maybe. It's a little sketchy. He clearly snipe. Right here. No. Dies. I get a taunt. Ooh. Ooh, I can clear everything. Oh wait, I can do both. Hmm. Kind of a turd, but what can you do? Oh fuck, who? It'll just rain down on my. Five, six, seven. Let's see what we get here. Hmm, I guess. Five, six, seven. I guess if he has a silence and a hero power, it's pretty good. Morning, Redbeard. What up, Joe Padopey? Hey, where did Heart Queen go? Where did Wumbly go? Oh, crap. Taunt me. Not a taunt. In fact, it may be the worst possible thing. You can get from Proto Drake. Doink. Double doink. Seven two turd sevens in a row. Is this Redbeard I'm watching? What other seven did I get? Oh, that other one? Yeah, the one's on board? Yeah. Guess I would have rather had a 4-6 and a 4-4 the second time. Get yourself pro, you're doing neat infinite anyway. I'm gonna try my best. Oh my days. Give this guy not any more spells. What's our best draw? Amalgam? Muff Muncher? Your taunt's not bad. Hooper, hey Beta Clash, thanks so much, man. Thank you so much, buddy. He's at one. Oh, I would hate to lose this game. We didn't miss lethal, right? We had exact. We we dealt exact damage to that guy. Go to sleep, Redbeard. Wake up, Redbeard. Always Redbeard. Good lord, everybody. Thank Beta Clash for subscribing. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're not following this. Hearthstone channel, please consider. No, no. Wait, he's still dead, right? I'm assuming. Ten flinger off the top. For who? For him? Oh, for me? I think he threw this game hard. Well, we might have got there anyway, but I threw. I mean, the turn he traded made no sense. Or the legendary options <laughs> to end up with subject nine. Uh, Keymaster and uh, Silas, I think. So it was a it was a tough pick. They were they were crap. They're all crap, dude. Prediction: Will Red win seven games? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I will sub YouTube a little later today. No problem. Hey, thanks, dude. Why not right now? Makes sense. Yeah, sniping. Seeing as you have Gemini, I had. <laughs> Kill me, dude. I had Gemini. So it was clear you were sniping. It was ghosting me, right? So many women before him. I was being ghosted hard. Keymaster and Sylvanas. <laughs> uh, Ken, it was up against uh, Yogg Saron, and we had. It was like the last pick. I didn't have enough spells, and then Kale to loss. And I also didn't have enough spells. Arbinator, alive? Oh. That Barbinator was dead. You learn something new every day. God damn. Wait, nobody followed when I begged for a follower. I was adulting? Terrible, terrible. 
I mean, hopefully you're taking care of your family and treating yourself right and taking care of your health. I'm already following. You're off the hook. Dude, you don't even have a sub badge there for half a second. Like, oh, yeah, easy pick over key. Oh, they gave me crap. What the fuck? Fuck you. He thinks he's gonna draw like a ring toss and play it, but I don't think so. Bet 10 games? Uh, we're never gonna win 10. 10? Here, I'll give you 9, okay? How about 9? Fair deal? I'm gonna I'm set it to 2 minutes, alright? You have 2 minutes. Minutes. 2 minute warning. I am two times follower, cause Twitch won't reset my password on main account. What's your main account? Jinga doo doo or what? For a minute I thought the real Dexter was here. Just Jingapoo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jingapoo the second. <laughs> I thought you were Jingapoo's son. Or daughter. Today. We had a 10, a 7, and two fives, or a 4, we had a 5 and a 4, something like that. It wasn't the best night, it wasn't the worst night, it was just a night, you know? Okay, if, and I, I say this, if he does what I think he might do, And Jingapoo the second will be banned and need to come back as Jingapoo the third. Are there muffs getting munched again? Yeah, I only wish Queenie was here. The penultimate muff muncher. I'm a daughter of myself. What the did you What does that mean? I don't get <laughs> Elise right now. I'm done for the night. Okay, you know what? Meant Delis or Swamp King Dreads. Dude, they should change this card's name to Swamp Ass Dreads. Like after a long night of streaming. It's like Fry from Futurama. He is so much like Fry from Futurama. I'm at least as drunk as you are. On a scale of 1 to 10, how drunk are you? I'm a 5. Five point two, six. Okay, well, that's not fair. I said the number first. You just said one number higher than me. Frankly, I don't think that's right. Uh, sure. You can have this turd. Why do they never draft? Why do they never take mirror? Do people just not take mirror? I'd have loved the nine nine on the board. So what is that? Counter spell? Uh, rigged fair game and what? Something, right? Oh man, whatever he plays buffed from that is actually a problem. I'm not just gonna tear you apart. No, it's not, okay. It's not, so just shut up already. I've had five breezers and three bears. What's a breezer? You made that up. All right, so his rigged fair game's going off, and that's frankly a bit of a problem. Another great stream, mate. I like it. How would you rate it out of 10? What's my win so far? So far, seven. Nine? Wow, dude. 8.5? <laughs> uh, Night Rainbow, how do, you, how do you gauge? What the hell would be a 10 for you? What would be, what would be less than an 8.5? Hey, Neil Mack. Careful, his, red, his magic's gonna tear your butt apart. Yeah, well, I'll be careful about that. 
Try not to get it torn up in the space-time continuum. Okay, let's look at the rush. Oh, it's gonna be counter spell, which means what? I need this, this, and this. Okay, rush, rush, rush. Oh man, it's so good. I just play. If it's counter, I have to. I have to throw this for counter. I think. Fucking a, dude. What the fuck is that? Spellbender. That wait. Why did I do that? My turn's over? What do you mean my turn's over? Oh, maybe ice block? No ice block in the meta, it's spellbender. I thought it was gonna be counter, or maybe nether spite, which is a fine take, but I was wrong. Bring the farts to me. Oh, so if I germinate, I get boned then, huh? trading okay so i just can't cast that Ooh, good draw not sure if that's better i think it is yeah definitely can you please update the tracker uh update the track oh yeah sure if i say 10 today and you do better tomorrow then i can't give you a higher rating right you give me 11 I'll take an 11. Could play this and that. How fucking dare you? Wait a minute. Wait, am I dead? Hero power, shoot, trade, four. We're dead to pyro. That's like a pyro kind of play, no? I put three. 5, 13, 14. I think this is the play and I feel bad about it. But it does set up lethal and keeps us alive against a pyroblast. Oh my god, just keep it down for two minutes, dude. I'm trying to think here. So hey, pyro doesn't kill us and we kill him. Got a link to show what the breezer is, yes, but unless it's like a human butthole, then I'd prefer if you didn't do that. Say hello to oh, my little Shrek. I've never been more convinced of anything in my life that somebody was holding a pyroblast. Four four loves you. This is a different four four. Just, I mean, a different one. This one's even more insulting. Get some of the worst seven drops. Hey puppy. Hi Jamie. Yeah, you're right about that. He's part of nature, Swamp King. No, I disagree. Get him out of here. Get his sorry ass out of here, am I right, Night Rainbow? Come on. Easy flex. My ma his magic was gonna tear us apart? What's he got? Some sort of 
Where'd he go? Hog? He's got nothing. Indestructible. What up, Andy? Caleb wants to say, how much is alcohol been keeping you tilt free when playing Hearthstone? I want to know. Five? Doesn't really help or it doesn't really hurt. I don't get too tilted. If I lose a lot in a short amount of time, then I just get more annoyed by that aspect than any one individual. But, um... I do like to do the last run with a little bit of uh, alcoholic beverage to sip upon. It's fun. I'm an Oprah, but nice BM. He's He was BMing me. I wasn't really BMing him. I was just threatening him. Even tear your outerwear. Well, pour that on my own. The no BM stream? I don't really BM. I'm just teaching a, you know, foul mouth whippersnapper a lesson. You know, so that the next time they face you guys, you guys don't get disrespected by them. I care about you guys. Tastes like a pineapple soda. Yum. It's delicious. Sure you're very chill generally yeah generally sometimes you know sometimes you gotta de chill you know you gotta you gotta assert your dominance ah oh my god i gotta i think i have something crawling in my ear hold on inside of my ear was itching maybe yeah but Oh, this could hit us a uh, proto for next turn. Oh, yeah, you know what? If this doesn't get me proto, well, let me just say this much. I, 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 that's fine. Crawling in there. I don't know. Do you guys not get like an abundance of earwax all the time? It just kind of rolls around at all at all time, all hours of the night. <laughs> that doesn't happen to you, dude. I do. That's what I'm talking about. Did I miss Hearthstoner? Also, hi, what up, Hearthstoner? You're doing uh, better than everyone else. Wax beard. You guys think I'll ever have a wax, uh, wax statue at a museum, maybe? Frequent drinking can lead you to low key alcoholism. No, no, not low key. Frequent drinking can lead you to just regular <laughs> alcoholism. Slow key about it. One of your ears gets way more wax. This, my right ear gets so much hair on it. My whole ear is coated in like just fur. The other one is I got a normal, well, an abnormal amount of human fur. But not like my right ear. What the dealio is, but. Um. Spend five mana. This doesn't do anything. Could buff it. Um, not you, but the football, definitely. Oh, definitely the football. Oh, it gets a wax statue? Okay. I get weir earplugs. I wear ear earplugs, so I push it in further. That's bad for you. I do extensive drilling operations all the time. What the hell does that mean? Why'd you do a keepo? What the fuck is that card? Jesus Christ. Banned card. Not recommending people jam water in their ears, but it's a thing. That's what I do for the most part. I, I had to go to the doctor one time because my fucking... My flipping ears... It's so clogged up. The doctor... I was I was like, what are they gonna do? Surgery? Like I thought they were gonna do a like a emergency surgery. And they're like, oh, we're just gonna spray the inside of your ear with water for like half an hour. Like, what? I could just do this at home. That's what I do now. Why do you have subject nine? Bad options? Yeah, they gave me uh Yog Saron and Kaelthalos, but it was late and I couldn't make Yog work.
Why does the name Ponyhoff sound so familiar? He was a Hearthstone streamer. I think he played Arena, right? Or maybe I'm wrong. I thought he played Arena. Well, I guess I could hero power that and shoot there. Or I could just play this and take what? Uh, eight. I, I, I need, I need to get these down. I think what we do is unfortunately get shit on and do this. Dissolves earwax. Uh, I bought I bought some of the medicinal over the counter stuff before, which apparently does help with some drops in your ear. You can also use hydrogen peroxide. Apparently, it's safe. I've done it before. Jingapoos for the love of God! I'm gonna click that. If that's a uh, if that's a computer virus, you're in big trouble, bud. The old master is worse than Masan. He's so much worse. Uh, Labor sack. What up? He's a viewbotting. No, he did viewbot. He also got banned from the Hearthstone Global Games. Be for uh, kind of like sexist comments. Or his partner had sexist comments or something. Hmm. I believe it was somebody he was co-oping with. He was just like, "Yeah, this is cool." I think. No, oh, shifty. Come on. At least I got a 5 5 this time. It's not as good as the other thing. Man, Vile, Vile Spine is so good there. That's probably the best one you can get. Remo Wax. Um, what do you think about that song by. Uh... Kings of Leon? Rememo? You like it or no? I think AHA Shake Heartbreak is in the top 42 most underrated albums of all time. That's my opinion. Very nice to listen to. Best Kings of Leon album for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's good straight through. Everything on that album is good. What's your favorite song from that album, Beta Clash? I will say this. My personal opinion. Potentially. There's only two acceptable answers. Maybe three. Ooh, four. No more than seven acceptable answers. Did we have lethal? I have no idea. Remember when Rogue was offered Vile Spines and Sap? Boy, those were the days. That guy had both of them. He got offered a Sap. I've been blasting my ears with hardcore techno. Working construction for 10 years. I now have the pleasure of tinnitus. And Remo Wax just clears all my earwax. Yuck. I'm waiting for Beta Clash. He's probably looking up the track list to make a well-informed decision, which I respect. I'm going to do the same. Oh, everybody hit the follow button. Subscribe to YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. The stream's going to be ending soon. Ooh, I'm going to barf. Not good. Boom. Thanks so much. Good song. Good song, good song. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, good, 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 good. Man, that album's good. Oh my god, this is, I, I, why is this golden? Harry Potter or Chappelle show? What the hell, like what should you watch? <laughs> uh, how much time do you have? We've only got like seven minutes. Pick Chappelle's show and find the best skit. Hey, out the believers, Red. I'm sorry, dude. Sorry, please relax. I will do that for you. 
Red win nine games, yes. My day goes down a few notches after Redbeard stops streaming, I understand. What did you say? <laughs> I said, uh, wow. Yes, believers got paid out big. Right, we're going to bet on 11. You guys only have one minute, though, okay? I, I have no idea. Um, what What is the, your, your favorite song, or what do you believe is the best song from AHA Shake? What's your, I guess what's your favorite song? Because it's all subjective, right? Netflix special? Oh, don't watch the Netflix special. It's okay, but Harry Potter's better than the Netflix. Everlong by the Foo Fighters. Best song ever. Acoustic or the, the other one? I saw the Foo Fighters live. They were really good. I'm not a huge Foo Fighters fan, but man, they were fun. I like the impression of me, pretty accurate. Sorry about that. I'm drunk and stupid, but then again, using the spray over ear pins, like good knowledge. If you haven't fucked up your ears yet, then I recommend you do something, something. Blah, blah, blah. Me, 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 me. Right, man. We all learned a valuable lesson. 1 to 11 for the yes boys. That's it. Uh, get your butts in here. Get your bets in now. A lot of totems. I don't really need rush per se. You are a delightful human. Me? <laughs> Thank you. Pretty kind yourself. Eleven one, too good to pass. Yeah, you could just put like a full million down. You make it big here, you're gonna be Yeah, you know, you're gonna be doing something. Alright, what are we doing? Buffing the board, certainly. Uh this one's not bad. I picked up a playable two. I think you'd go two, two, two. As it were, I believe this is probably fine. Bucket for me? Alright, I'm gonna give you the bucket. Uh, for me... I'm going King of the Rodeo. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. The song's awesome. The Bucket? Maybe number two. Um... Milk and ooh, Taper Jean Girls on there too. Oh mm, man, that's a good album. Uh, King of the Rodeo for me, number one. The Bucket, number two. Velvet Snow? Is that, is that, is that wrong of me? To enjoy Velvet Snow? Let me ask you something. Does anybody ever fucking draft Mirror? I had to look up the name though. The bucket. Uh, That's a good song. I'm gonna listen to Aha Shake when the out when the stream ends today. Can I just play this? If it's a rigged fair game, it's annoying, but if it's not rigged fair game, it's less annoying. He's gonna draw the cards at some point. He's at 30. Like, if it's rigged fair game, like, fuck me, right? Red plays better drunk. Yeah, it's not fair if I drink all night. Drafted Booty Bay? And somehow his drafted Booty Bay is still better than my Subject 9? Kill me! Why? Why did he get this overpowered booty bay? Oh no. Wait, it's spell based. Eh, whatever.
Grade the five seven first. Uh, I wanted to germinate it and then hope it was Nether Spite or Counter. Counter's fine. Just hope it wasn't Spellbender, but it might have been Spellbender, I guess. Hmm. What time is it? All right, hear me out. Doink. Fell through my trap. I'll probably go two and three on. No, three and two. Big bucks play. What about Les? Man, all night everybody's like, "Where's the Les?" I'm like, "Dude, be careful." Like the Candy Man, say his name a couple of times. Something happens. I don't know what. Oh my God, the Muff Muncher. No, I can magnetize shit, but the reality is I don't want to get um, polymorphed. County show coming up. Had to make sure the cat's teeth were really sparkling. <laughs> Is there a county cat show? A hey, proof. Proof. Thanks for the follow proof. No. Fire Lansing. I love Alez. We were talking about Alez earlier. You perused through 19 hours of VOD today. You will find us talking about none other than you. Cast five, this will cost six. That's not good. Go two, six, zero power. Go. Tell us three times and someone plays bees. Hard? When you say Elise, are we talking about Eloise or am I wrong? I'm talking about the card Elise. Shuffles an Ngoro pack into your deck and I like it a lot. It's my favorite card. Alright. Uh, you know, look at this. Squeezing into our curve, nice and smooth. You know what the saddest thing about getting this win is? I'm too drunk and I want to lay down. Where are the crazy priests and paladins at 1-0? Yeah, sometimes it's, I always talk about this. I really firmly believe. Like, your plays don't really change that much game to game. Sometimes you just roll into a really hot deck and you're going second and you just lose. And your run goes 4-3. and three. Or you play against, you know... You know, an Antonitis, but he's dead on board, you know? I don't know. Like, we, uh, we bog-beamed our guy. Sometimes he bog, you know, we bog-beam our guy, and it turns out to be Nether Spite, and the Nether Spite rolls, uh, four mana, seven, seven, or some stupid crap. And then you lose the game or whatever. I think the play is correct, because we have to get the germination off. Nine, two OP. <laughs> yeah. I gotta nerf that card. It needs to give only four secrets. It only should only draw up to four secrets. Hey, Dishy, what's up? Alright, I'll just tell you. We played the uh, one of the Redbeard games. I asked chat to... Uh, I'm gonna go lie down, but you keep winning. I know it's terrible, Lily. Trust me, I know. I asked chat who they hadn't seen today that they missed the most. And you know how it is, Alez. You know you. Naturally. Naturally. You ask a question like that and, uh... Nobody said Alez. But I... I so I, I, I said, well, what, a, what about Alez? You know? I, I said, I'll pick Alez. This is what I said. I says to chat, I says, I'll pick Alez. And then I thought... He might be lurking, and he'll see this, and I'll get a Les Brownie points. 
because he'll think that I didn't know that he was lurking, which turned out you weren't, and I didn't get any credit, and I thought that was kind of a scam. Les is a good one. He's great. A lot of people said Red Zesty. A lot of people said Zelda, and he was here, like, chatting at that exact moment, and I thought that was a bit of a scam as well. Like, why are you picking Zelda? He's just banned. Whoever, whoever said Zelda, they just banned him. It was definitely shit talking you. Yeah. Definitely not. No, no, no. <laughs> See, I would, I would shit talk a Les more. Sorry, I'm picking my nose. I would shit talk a Les more. But I don't want to face the wrath of Twitch chat. They love him so much. You know? I don't blame him, but I don't want to face the wrath. They'll turn on me. So, for now. <laughs> I must bide my time until the moment that I might strike back. Poor fool. He did say that. Then I pointed out he had already seen you yesterday morning and he felt like a fool. Oh, I never really feel like a fool despite being a fool the vast majority of my life. Biding my time. One day at a time. Like with Firebat. I just, I want you guys to know one day our channel's gonna be so big that I'm gonna end Firebat's streaming career. <laughs> I've got about, how many goals, Les? Two? One of them. End Firebat's streaming. Dish. Water sponge. You gotta be kidding me. This isn't real life. Gifted sub. The hot GZO2. Thank you so much. Never seen a single message from that person in my life. Let me see how many messages they have here. I can't. Everybody's hyping it too much. 18. His last message. Red. You suck. Dishwater sponge. Small penis. Oh god, come on. That can't be good for business. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really do. He didn't say any of those things. Oh no, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> no, I, I, he said, I don't actually know what he said. I couldn't read it. I ad-libbed a little. Best card, Blizzard. Could, oh, fuck. Could ever produce. Would be Alez de Zillier. First prize. Um... Hmm. Do I want a bunch of stupid two threes? What does he do on seven? I want to play this. This is three power. And this is only two if we give it animal form. Okay, uh, let's do that. It would shuffle a pack of one cost pyroblasts in your deck. It would be a 2020. Cannot be targeted <laughs> with three mana. I would draft that have that this is much i'm going to miss chat actually having conversation something something what the hell are you talking about what the fuck are these i mean it's got to be bringing the heat now right uh neld with the prime thank you so much man firebat push you while you're getting free beverage <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I actually don't know Firebat. I don't know. I don't know that guy. I bet he's nice. New Druid Secrets will arrive in five years. This deck will be a fucking... It'll be a little bit better then. Really, his life is starting to fall apart, is it? I hope not. I only joke around. I don't actually know Firebat, but... As a man whose life fell apart a long time ago and, you know, never, you know, recovered the pieces, I hope that other people's lives don't. That's laugh annoys me. I don't know what it is. I don't really watch him a lot. But a good laugh is, is very important.
My life fell apart, now it's just like that. Yeah, that's just my life now. Bump and trade. I guess this doesn't really do anything. It's to one. This it goes to zero. That's pretty good. You guys can't see my pit stains, right? I'm wearing a black shirt. Is this the last run? This will be the last one of today, yeah. <laughs> Alez, come on, dude. Settle down. Why'd you... What? Why'd this happen to me? That isn't a four. Or no, not quite. <laughs> Heavy rolling. This is our first good roll of my life. That's it. You guys like that sound effect I made or no? Can you pinpointed what the catalyst was to your depression? Yeah. Existence. Oh no, what's happening here? I'm not getting any damage in. Oh my god, what's going on? Trade, trade, leave that up, play the Ysera? Seems reasonable. So it's biological for you. Yeah, probably. It's hard to say. I'm not smart enough to figure it out. That's one thing. <laughs> That's one thing that definitely depresses me about it. I'm going to pretend like I got um dream. Then I'll see if he just concedes. Oh my god, I thought it just cast itself. Um Not falling for it. New game plan. Not gonna pre. -hit. Depression is real? Oh yeah, oh I know. I mean it's tough for everybody. Life's hard. So. Try vitamin D. What's that? Dad went to go get cigarettes and hasn't come back. How long ago is that? If it's only been like 40 minutes or 25 minutes, he, he might be coming back. It's been any longer. Coming back. Sucks when you go around not knowing, getting to the point where you're okay with that is nice thing. But to get there is a different path. Speaking from an own experience, being okay with what? Sorry. Is this Ysera? Is this Ysera minion type? Why? Like, why you're depressed? I think it's because, you know. Does your Sarah count as a minion type? No. I think it's a lot of reasons. It's kind of the difficult aspect, right? Is, uh, it can be chemical, it can be environmental, biological. We got, uh, what's that, 18, 22, and a little more. Oh, fuck. Just in case I got it wrong, let's do this. Oh, wait. That's a big dru uh, druid. All right, one more game. Darn it. I guess I got to play it. Good luck, everybody. Let's get the bets in. One. Last bet. And if you're not following already, please consider. Red win 11. And? We win 12 for all the marbles, guys. You guys can have one minute. Because I don't want to get all the info before. Uh... Look, Redbeard, too powerful. If Donnie was here, he would say potentially that we got into liquor equilibrium. Well, we know. We'll try, buddy. It's so much farts. Hey, Nexi. Believe in Redbeard, you will get paid out. 
Stand behind shooting water in my own ear. I'm killing. I'm willing to stand behind a controlled dose of psilocybin to help with depression. I think that helps. I'm scared. Subject nine. Druid OP. This is one of those runs where <laughs> everybody just keeps losing parts over and over again. And then they're like, fine, I'll just bet on 12. And then, uh, just get dunked in the last game. Going second, not hitting our hot shit. Got two foragers, though. Someone ever opened up something big? No. And please be careful. Uh, opening up something big because I, I have nothing planned so you will initially receive nothing Run very volatile won't bet no, it's just win 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 With psilocybin relieves major depression study shows I um I listen to a lot of Rogan babbling about stupid shit all the time and they talk about studies, I remember he, not just him, but somebody on his show talked about studies where, uh, like, terminal, terminally ill patients given monitored controlled doses of different hallucinogenic drugs and apparently had really good results. I kind of always thought that, like, if I was going to die, I would do a bunch of, like, wild shit and try to, I wouldn't be so afraid. In there? Here? Yeah, maybe. Can't bet in the country I'm in, but I saved up 170k so far. Got some time to prepare for something big. Alright, I'll buy an industrial sized barrel of Czechoslovak Czechoslovakian uh, booty lube. Okay. Using VR with people who suffer with chronic pain as well with some good results. I, um, I watched, oh no, I have my coin still. Oh no. What do I do with this? Stupid piece of crap. I, um, what were we talking about? Oh, VR? Yeah, yeah, remember that time I watched the VR pornography? That that alleviated some of my physical pain, but added some mental, mental strife, certainly. How dare you? Space trip with Elon Musk would be a party with Sinbad, dressed as the genie. I met Sinbad as a kid. Sinbad, I played baseball not on the same team as Sinbad's kid, as a, as a young man myself, but he was on the opposing team. I had an autographed Colorado Rack Rockies baseball cap from Sinbad when I was... That's all, that's all I gotta say about that. hardcore dude wonder where that thing is probably at my mom's house still is any kind of sex toys yes i dated a gal one time and her i told this story before but you may not have heard it because you just asked me that question i dated a gal and her cousin worked at a sex shop he was a um a young um gay man and i went there and he was he was definitely probably more into me than she was in retrospect i think but uh, she was like, oh, let's go, whatever, my cousin, I forget his name. It's like, oh, he can get us like discounts on all the stuff because he works at the sex shop or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. It was supremely awkward because it was me and her. And, you know, she was talking to him. She's like, oh, you know, hey, whatever. And they're like, you know, it's family, right? And she's like, yeah, we're looking for like, you know, a Mondo butt plug. And I'm thinking of getting like, you know, like fucking all this wild shit and i'm like fuck dude I, I just i'd never met this guy like i don't want to talk to i don't want to talk to him to get you know suggestions on what to put inside of his baby cousin you know 
mean, she was 28, 27, 28 years old, but good lord. I was like, whatever, just get whatever, I'll pay whatever, you can go in whatever. I wonder if he gives her sex toys. I don't know. I, you know, he wasn't... Like, I went to a ton of family gatherings. I dated that gal for a while. I went to a ton of family gatherings and he never, he was never there. I don't know. There was like some weird stuff, but they had a big extended family and a lot of people would always show up. There'd always be 20 or 30 people at somebody's house and I'd always just show up and it was always a good time, but he was never around. I liked him. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe there was some conflicts or something. There was something like his, his mom like didn't get along with the family or something. Went on a date with a girl many years ago who brought along her gay friend who was confusing. I found out later they had a bet about which one would get me into bed first. Oh, yuck. I mean, not, you know, just the thought of sleeping with Artie sickens me. Good morning. Hey, Benny V. What's up, Pink Pearl Girl? How are you? Do I know? I, I feel like I saw Pink Pearl Girl somewhere else recently. Also, what the fuck just came out of here? Um, man, I want to play stuff. This is the last game. We're doing pretty well. Seven puts us down to ten. This feels better. And then sets up pot potentially a better Drake. I think you have. Pink Pearl Girl. What channel did I see Pink Pearl Girl? I don't know. Tyler? Oh no. It was Tyler's channel. I've been watching a lot of Tyler play Battlegrounds. The guy's just so wholesome and, I don't know, so nice to watch him. I enjoy his content. Plus he, uh, you know, sometimes is kind to me, which I always appreciate too. You know how I like kindness. This isn't good. I feel like we're close, but I think we're losing. Marsh Hydra is very good. Nothing wrong with a butt plug or order? Order? Oh, play that, lose it, corrupt it? Nah. No, don't scare me, guys. I don't want to mess up. Oh, shit. Actually would have been a lot better. Now I can't corrupt it. Let's draw the good stuff. Mm, Tortolan Primalist into... Oh, God. You too, Benny. Maybe not externally. But... Oh, no. I misclicked. <laughs> Doesn't count. Paid actor. GG with that deck, nicely done. Yeah, it was a good one. Hey, Cosmic Camel, how are you, dude? Good morning. Uh, 11's cool. I, um, you know, if this had been a reasonable card, maybe we would have got there. Can't be too mad. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm never mad losing to Hooters. We take it. Good run. Yeah, you always want to end on a 12 if you can. Came right at the end. I'm sorry, Cosmic. I'm gonna miss you. GG. Thanks, Willy. I tried my best. If I'm being honest, I couldn't tell you anything that happened that game.